All right, here we go. Question number six from our college algebra homework number four. They give us a function here. It says to use the leading term test and the knowledge of y-intercepts to match with a function below. And so what I noticed is that every one of these graphs has a different end behavior. So the leading term test all by itself is going to actually determine which one of these is correct. But since it mentions the knowledge of y-intercepts, I thought I would throw that in also. All right, so here we go. Taking our function, uh, remember the leading term test says that you have to know the degree and you have to know the leading coefficient in order to determine the end behavior, okay? So the degree of our function is 2. The degree is the biggest exponent, and that number is even. The degree here is even. The leading coefficient is the number in front of the variable that had the degree, and our one-fifth is positive. And so from our chart that I've covered in previous problems, we know that an even degree and a positive lead coefficient says that our graph is going to rise left and right. And so the only graph that does a rise left and right is D. Now real quick, let's talk about what it means by y-intercepts. For a polynomial function, the y-intercept is always the constant. Did you get that? For a polynomial function, the constant is the y-intercept. And so if we look at this graph, we can see that it is going to cross the y-axis at negative 5, so that is also correct. And so let's check that. All right, done. I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave me in the comment section below, or you can text me if you want. Uh, and thanks for watching.